Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. There's another alternative option, but I think you really do need a little bit more damage in this comp because you've put your Zillion in the mid lane, so this is going to give you some extra burst. Great into the Gwen, you know, somewhat of a counter pick here. See the oh, Hecarim Nautilus. Going to be okay. engaged. They're going in as the Chompers. Not quite doing enough here. Effort is in a lot of trouble. The flash forward, and there's your first blood, so... Suppose that Terry's working out very nicely, at least in the end. That's not supposed to happen. It's not ideal. Really, as here comes the horse. He got Zillion speed up as well. No flash, remember, on to Delight. So immediately that is punished. This time the pushing kill. away from Morgan. He also has no flash, and he's not level six. This is a rough spot here for the Gwen. As Morgan, he hits level six, though. The needles do come out. Do Kana and Dread have the damage? It's the question. It's yes, just barely they will, but down will go. Kana as well to the Ignite, and this means that Fred and Brian immediately side. are looking to collapse. They get in onto the Jinx. No flashes, nothing. They both go down in the span of a second. Yeah, this is really nice for Fred and Brian to pick up those Zeri, You kill her, you get most of the plates, if not the whole turret and the Drake. So this actually works out fairly well for Fred and Brian. They Zeri will have a lot more room to fight. We'll get the whole turret here. So even though I didn't get the crash gold, I'm just gonna grab the turret gold. We're gonna stay up on the copy pasta. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, All right, Kana is out in a little bit of no man's land. Yeah, here. we do have some needles going through. It's a lot of damage on the Morgan. Is it enough? Yes, it is. Kana staying alive as well, but he gets knocked up. He's going back in though. He is just barely sustaining through all of that, but he does get taken out, but it takes three people to take out the Akali at the end of the day. Well, technically, I think it could have been done for two, but in this case, Lava's going to pick up his second kill of the game. So they give it over to Lava. He ends up getting, you know, a lot of gold and a second stack uh, set here on his Dark Seal. So accelerating the Ari. So Kana, he's traded these back both times, but he's starting to, to fall a little bit behind in the side lane. As over here, Ghost is just got two bodyguards and is completely going to not only take out this turret, but will deny a ton of farm from Hena. So it's not a CS lead because things have been pretty crazy. We saw the kill earlier, we saw the Rift Trail bottom side. So Hena's not as behind as you often are, but everybody on Facebook was playing it. It's a common story I'm hearing tonight. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, Morgan in a bit of trouble here once again. I love the proactivity here from Gnome Shim. Can they actually get the kill though? The sun comes in and the ult is used. The Dread will be okay. By the way, Zillion ult, pretty good. Pretty good. And diving turrets. Well, also AOE, you know, her Hydra damage. What's going to happen with her, you know, uh, hurricane later, her Runa's hurricane that mm -hmm. she picks up. Means that she's in the bottom side a few times. The teleport is going to come through here for Lava. They want to push down this turret with the Rift Herald here, which would guarantee the Ari so much more pick potential here. And it's also just going to be a lot of extra gold if they lock it down here for Fred and Breon, who already have a pretty massive gold lead. They're side leaning more effectively here. And you can see that it's just over time. Oh, no, Kana. Ooh, Kana, he doesn't have a shuriken anymore. Or misses. Yeah, he is dodging quite a lot here as he does use his ult, and the ultimate will come out here from the Zillion. Lava! Now the follow-up as the Ari went a little bit too far. The rocket not even needed. As this comp, again, is just so strong, and it's not even fully online. The Jinx still waiting. We're going to the Elder fight later on. Anyways, uh, but in all seriousness, the health bars and the mana bars here, Zillion extremely low on that regard. They just decided to back off, take a little bit of side laning instead. So Frederick Brown, get away. Teleport coming through from BDD. Umpty going in at the same time. Chomper's out. Mm, he's going to have to Crescent Guard here. Not sure that's going to save him, though. Lots of damage thrown into the Xin Zhao. Takes him forever to die. And there is a huge onslaught of shadows coming through from Dread. Able to pick up the kill onto Zeri as Hana uses his heal and his blast. Double stun with the bomb. BDD showing off a little bit here. Red. The horse is not done. The turn comes in. Effort in a little bit of trouble. Has to use that stopwatch. Now Dread is all alone. He's going to go down as we have already entered the insanity of this series. And teleport. Kana, however, does and is hidden right now. They're keeping it a secret where he is. He's got a nice flank. Here's the engage. The charm comes in as Everfrost hits basically everybody. Blown up as Effort. Kana with the big teleport into the back line. They're trying to get it onto Umpty. Kana left a little bit all alone here. Tries to go back in. Does get a kill. 
but he immediately loses his own life. This will be the Cloud Drake going over to Fred Free on Lava, looking for over this fight because they did group up as five. They knew Morgan didn't have teleport, and they knew, okay, before before the Akali gets here, let's engage, let's be decisive. Completely controlled, Lava has the choke point set up. Still, time to fight here, Kana is it's Pretty seen. quick, okay, they're gonna go for the turn, and the charm comes in, but in goes Kana, in goes Dread, Onslaught of Shadows hits nobody, Kana's not doing the damage, he's trying to get on top of Henna, but he cannot. And yet, we do have the Leona going down, and a nice double bomb here, but it's still a win for Fred. Or he didn't use Flash, so he still has that, and Dread is still unseen here. Oh, BBD. Tries to walk forward, runs straight into a lack of vision. Cannot ult. Where have we seen this? Uh, the Ari that has the death cap, the Gwen, Dread. You got one chance, you got one opportunity. And their turn is S plus, right? They're just getting in on there, and you can see skating over the walls. In goes Henna, immediately just gonna blow up that back line. Kana, incredibly scary here, but he's all alone in that facet for his team. Huge turn comes through, a triple kill for Henna, and the first pick, Zeri, actually begins to show its power. Yeah, Nongshim just really didn't punish it very well in the early parts of the game. Effort getting caught, the kill going over to Leona, the lane neutralizing there, then no Hecarim pressure. Really heavily given over to the Zeri, meant that, or, or put on, onto the Zeri, meant that she got to freely farm. GA is kind of strong, but like GA, the late, late part of the game, if you die or you're in the res animation, your team is missing out all of that damage while you're in stasis and you're not actually... You have to play Make the Make a better, of this bigger comp. impact. Yeah, you have to play the tempo of this comp better. And that's why in the draft we looked at it and we were like, you know, this is a great draft. Right now. Red's got a big ultimate and he wants to use it. Yeah, He's Dredd, coming around. Red's got an up. angle. He did use his ghost, but not going to go for it just yet. They stop on the Elder and there's the engage in the back line. Ghost immediately cleansed though. They blow up the Leona as Lava has to go into the Zonyas here. Dread looking no for the follow up way. engage. Second on just comes through. The engage is not good, but Lava takes a huge burst. The knock up onto the Jinx is big, and Henna will begin to tear apart this team. Ghost, Ghost is still alive, but Henna is as well, and the Zeri is victorious in the end. Oh, Fred and Brian wanted to give everybody a heart attack just one last time, but they are going to win the fight. It will be their game to take in game three, and for the first time, in Fred of Brion's org's history, they will take a sixth best of three here in the LCK and put their position towards the playoffs much stronger. One big step forward. Doesn't matter how hard it was to get here and how close these games were. The end result is all that matters. GG. <laughs> this always happens with...